When Work, Love, and God was formed in May of uh, 2020 and uh, officially started, I guess, in July of 2020, there were many that were prophesying failure. And we had some concerns. And e we were even contacted by some corporate folks from Dunn and Bradstreet that told us there was no way we could survive. We had no paid employees. We had no paid board members. We had no formal business plans. We had no financial reserves. And we had limited resources. And so there was no way we were gonna survive for more than two to three years. Well, we're in the three, third year. And the way that that has happened is uh, we have a God plan, not a business plan. And the plan is that we trust in the Lord to give us the projects He wants us to work on and to give us the resources to do those projects. And the Lord is always just in time. And the examples of how materials flow are not just financial. Uh, we've had enough finances to do the projects as they come in. There's some times we've run tight. And I've, I've met you before, I've got a good treasurer who I'm married to and she called me up one time and said, I'm not calling you as your wife, I'm calling you as a board member and treasurer. And I want you to know, preacher, that you're within $50 of moving from trusting in the Lord to testing the Lord. And so we've had some tight moments, but those have been few and far between. And the thing that we love to see is how materials flow. And I'll give you just a quick example. And we needed a set of cabinets and a countertop for a serving area in the kitchen that we're doing at Oven Creek. And those were provided by a, a man who does uh, maintenance and home restoration work. And as that was happening, he was donating those things. The thing that uh, happened to him is all his tools were stolen. And he had a crew ready to work and no tools. And the Lord kind of, kind of yanked my chain a little bit and said, you've got a whole shop on your, uh, on your truck of tools. So why have you got a whole shop full of tools uh, back at your workstation? And so we emptied uh, the power tools and the other tools that we had in the, in the work loving God shop and we boxed them up and we gave them to the man. No strings attached. And a lot of people say, well, why would you do something that stupid when you might need those things? because the Lord always restores. And within a week of that happening, I had a call from a dear friend who's a retired Cumberland Presbyterian preacher who's done a lot of construction missions. And his words to me were, uh, I'm now at the moment where I'm gonna have to get away from working the shop the way I have been. So why don't you come and clean out the shop and anything that you can use for the ministry, you can have. And the Holy Spirit does that. He provides the materials. But here's the deal. From the very beginning, we've said, Lord, we're not gonna hoard it. We're not gonna reserve it. If you flow it in, we're gonna find some place that needs it and we're gonna flow it out as fast as we can. And as we have done that, then God keeps flowing the resources so that the next job can be covered. I think that's the best business plan in the world. It's not relying on yourself. It's relying on Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I don't see where it gets any better than that.